Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here coming at you with another video, this time about the accuracy of Spring Drive. Here we have the Grand Seiko SPGA211, SPGA211G, uh, known as the Snowflake, I think I already mentioned that. And uh, this has the 9R65 movement that we see in the back here. And so uh, what spring drive is uh, really basically is a mechanical movement. Uh, a hairspring powers the uh, mechanical movement just like uh, any other uh, mechanical watch, automatic watch or a hand wound watch. Uh, but uh, what it does is instead of having uh, I believe uh, an escapement any pallet fork and I'm not too mechanically inclined in terms of uh, watchmaking but instead of having that it has what they call uh, a glide wheel and that glide wheel uh, is regulated by an electromagnetic brake so um, basically the uh, glide wheel references a quartz oscillator and that quartz oscillator will increase the braking pressure or reduce it to speed up the uh, the seconds hand and the, the hands or the timekeeping mechanism uh, to keep it in line um, and Grand Seiko claims uh, plus or minus 15 seconds a month or plus or minus one second a day so uh, very accurate so what we're going to be doing is uh, uh, Taking a look at that, kind of gauging it, I have had this watch for about two and a half weeks, almost three weeks. I've set it once when I got it, and uh, we're going to see how far along it has. Uh, it has deviated from, uh, uh, from my reference point, which was uh, uh, time.is, uh, which is usually how I sync my watches up. So, over here... I have my phone. We're going to go to time.is. There we go. And we see here it is 21, 54, 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay, there we go. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'd say it's about half a second off. How crazy is that? 10. Fifteen. So almost almost a second off. Looks like it's a second or three quarters of a second slower in three weeks. About two and a half weeks. Two and a three quarter weeks, let's say. So that is Grand Seiko's spring drive and how accurate it can be. If you take a look at here, you don't uh, you don't see the regular beat of uh, of an escapement. You see that wheel over there. It's just gliding away and it's being slowed down by an electromagnetic brake. You can see that the hairspring is powering that, and that forms a, a, a current, if I uh, if I recall correctly, and that forms a very very small charge that will um, activate the quartz oscillator, and uh, that will regulate the watch. Basically, uh, I think uh, Mark from Long Island Watch said it the best. It's like a watch within a watch that regulates the watch. So overall, truly amazing, uh, an amazing feat of engineering. So this has been Engineer Wannabe, and we are looking at the accuracy of uh, spring drive. Truly amazing. Um, yeah, Seiko has, uh, has done it, has knocked it out of the park. Take care, guys. Have a good night.